Ether Zurich is an explorative 3D web application that shows usage data in the city of Zurich. The concept can of course be applied to any other city or project site that holds unit-specific data. In the following, we will demonstrate how the application allows to visualize and filter the usage data accordingly to individual user needs and use cases. The first use case is an overview of the diversity of usage within the city, including a pie chart with statistics. Residential use, visualized in purple, statistically dominates in the city of Zurich but is typically located in high density at the border of the city. Here we find ourselves in the heart of the city, where office usage, visualized in the light green, is predominant. However, even in the old town of the city, we can still find apartments mainly in the upper floors that we can highlight by interacting with the pie chart. For the second use case, we zoom into a well-known public square called Limakplatz in Zurich. We can find and navigate to the square by using the search widget of the application. As an urban planner, you are especially interested in the composition of shops, restaurants and other commercial usages on ground floor level because this is crucial to make a public space attractive and bustling for citizens. Before we look into the composition of ground floor level usage, we will first focus on mixed use within one particular building. By clicking on the building, it gets highlighted, and the statistics as well as the charts update immediately according to the selection. By changing the visualization value, I can investigate where the individual usage types are located within the building, which helps me understanding building operations in order to detect conflicts or opportunities for improvement. Additionally, I can turn off the base map and explore usage below ground that I would not even see or have access to if I was there physically. The units can be visualized by any value that is available in the dataset such as area or rental cost. Besides pie charts, for certain values a bar chart is more suitable to display the data values. Now we'll start investigating the mix of usages around the square. We do this by selecting multiple buildings by holding the shift key. The number of buildings updates at the same time. We select all buildings that are adjacent to the public square as well as buildings nearby that are of particular interest, for example because they contain a specific service, such as a post office. We can see how the statistics and the filters on the right side update according to the selection. We now selected 18 buildings that we want to visualize by usage. We can see that the light green office units dominate the screen. But right now we are more interested in retail usage on the ground floor, as studies have found that those units contribute the most to the attractiveness of public squares. When we filter the units by ground floor, we found that retail makes up almost 60% of the units, which is a good sign. We might also want to know how big those units are, especially if we would like to investigate the potential for change. Smaller units are usually occupied by local mom and pop stores, whereas bigger units are typically rent out to chain stores. By specifying lower and upper borders of areas that we're interested in, we can visualize and compute statistics according to our needs. Filters and selection can of course be reset at any time in order to continue with other use cases. For the next use case we zoom to the highest building in Zurich which is known as Pine Tower. Visualizing skyscrapers is especially interesting as they are known to tr transfer the concepts of mixed use to the vertical dimension. Skyscrapers are still a hot political topic in the city of Zurich and many citizens have a critical mindset towards high buildings. The possibility to explore and see through the facade of a skyscraper might be a tool to sensitize citizens about this topic. 
Another potential use case in this scenario, of course, might also be a commercial application where office units can be presented to potential tenants based on area requirements.